It's another bright and shiny day here, so I don't have to use the lighting. I just using the natural light. So today uh, I have something to show you. It's a udakal. So here in Bangladesh we call it kothbel. It's very common in in uh, on my city, like orange in our country. Some call it monkey fruit. Some call it uh, golden apple. And in Japan it's called. Uh, bitter orange and uh, it's also called elephant uh, apple because elephant likes it. Some people smashed uh, this fruit and make uh, a chutney with various masalas and some made uh, jam with this fruits because it's very healthy. This fruit is full of nutrition. It has calcium, it has some uh, iron, vitamin A, B and C and it's a good source of uh, protein. Uh, it has a uh, hard shell like coconut so people uh, sometimes use a uh, hammer to dig it out uh, to find a treasure. It's a food treasure. So I will use a, a scissor I have a scissor to uh, f uh, make a hole in the upper part. So I made a hole here uh, to find the food tracer. I'm using two sticks and I'm mixing well with um, some uh, rock salt. I have some rock salt so I am uh, putting it inside the fruit and um, I'm mixing it well. So this is the uh, this is the part of the meat. Uh, it's like glue and some seeds. Uh, so I'm just uh, grabbing it. Wow, it's very raw. It's uh, sour, and it's uh, oh, it's delicious. It's very uh, it's nice. Look at this. Look at the meat. Yeah. I love it. Some expert uh, claim that uh, this uh, fruit is very helpful for kidney, uh, lungs and heart. It has uh, so much nutrition and that may be helpful for diarrhea and stomach pain. So guys, I hope you will try this uh, oat apple whenever you, it will be available for you. This is uh, called uh, paella here in our country. In English it's called coffee palm or uh, Indian palm or sometimes roundy grapefruits. So I will call it uh, today coffee palm. So I'm taking a bigger one to show you the actual fruit is. Uh, this is a look at that. It looks like uh, the color is like coffee. You can eat it uh, with the skin, but just you have to wash these fruits well. So that is the rules to eat these fruits. The rules is you have to press the fruits. The more you press the fruits, it will be much, much sweeter. So I'm pressing the fu uh, fruits very well. I'm pressing it. So I'm just trying it. Wow, oh, it's very sweet. Look at this. Look at the meat. Oh, oh, it's a uh, full of iron, calcium, it has vitamin C and uh, minerals. So, you can try this fruit. It's a uh, it's wild. I every bite is like wild things. So it's a nice one. It's very helpful for liver and heart function. Sometimes it's very helpful for diarrhea and uh, stomach pain. Well, the fruit is very common in the bush and jungle. It's found in uh, South and Southeast Asia. It's a tropical uh, raisin fruit. I heard that the leaves and the roots is used to uh, uh, snake uh, by treatments. So guys, uh, I think you will try this food when it will be available for any reason or whenever you will in a travel in Bangladesh. It's very common. Uh, it's found in the local market. Welcome people to meet another fruits today. It's called figs. 
and here in our country is called uh, dumur it's a very soft and sweet fruits uh, inside it uh, there is some seeds it's like uh, almost like sugar grains the ripe one is uh, mass reddish so this is the uh, raw one this is the green one we will cook it today with shrimp and coconut milk uh, the ripe one's flesh is very delicious inside it uh, the seeds is like uh, sugar grains so you will feel the sugar grains like seeds in your teeth when you will eat it so these fruits uh, contain a lot of energy it has calories it has iron calcium vitamin a b and c helpful for diarrhea it can uh, remove muscular pain uh, pimple and sometimes uh, it's uh, used uh, as diabetic medicine some add syrup and jam with the reef fruits and in some parts of the world they uh, make some kind of powder uh, with the figs and uh, they used as a substitute of coffee. It also used for treatment of mouth disorder or stomach pain. There are thousands of species of uh, figs around the world in Iran is called it Anjir. Today we'll uh, cook this uh, raw or green uh, figs with coconut milk and I have bought some river shrimp. So river shrimp is very tasty and uh, it will be a lot of uh, fun I hope so. Here are the river shrimp. So look at this. Look at this. Uh, this one is very fresh. And we have uh, cut into pieces the figs. Here the pieces, it will be cooked with the shrimp and coconut uh, milk. So this is the coconut milk. Look at this. Look at this coconut milk. So we will uh, cook it with coconut milk and shrimp. The cooking process is so easy, so I'm not showing it. We'll uh, use uh, mustard oil, green chilies, uh, onions, uh, garlic, and some masalas. So just wait for the cooked one. So guys, my wild adventure is ready. Here is my cooked uh, green freaks with the river shrimp. These are the river shrimps. So I'm trying it with rice. And here is the green figs uh, cooked well. So I'm just eating it. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. It's awesome. The seeds inside in my mouth are making sound it's cooked well it's fried well so it's very good to eat with rice i'm trying the river shrimp now with the rice Ah, awesome. This wild things is very good to eat with river shrimp. Yeah. So thank you for watching guys, mm, I think you will try this at home, goodbye.